The timing of all this rain would have been helpful for Minnesota's farmers during our drought filled summer, but now it's a bit of a mixed blessing. David Schumann has an update on harvest season. So basically you're trying to make the, the fermentation very, very slow. The weekend's rain ended in time for Nate Waters to give a full yeah. tour Sunday of his keepsake cidery in Dundas in Rice County. You see that like very beautiful golden harvest at the orchard is just getting started, but it's already clear how much damage a July hailstorm did. Nate figures to lose 25 to 30 percent of his apples, 15,000 pounds of fruit. It's a bummer. It's, it's, a, it's a definitely a disappointment where I see that. And I'm, Here's a good example. Like you pick that apple, it looks good, but then that's the hail. Nate says the rain this weekend was much needed for replenishing the ground, but for him, the drought this summer actually had the silver lining of helping his branches heal from the hail damage. If we had had many wedding periods, I think I'd had a much, much harder time dealing with diseases. Of course, Nate's situation is unique. These will eventually be sheep food. Minnesota's agriculture commissioner says, yeah, more rain would have been nice. We really could have used some rain around the state fair time to really finish off the crop. So not having that rain, what it did is it really uh, pushed down probably some of those yields. Tom Peterson says yields will be average to below average, and now the most recent rainstorms are making crops more difficult to harvest. It's uh, kind of interesting. You pray for rain all year, and then you hope for a dry time during harvest. But you're right now, I think farmers, we need the ground moisture pretty bad. I'll take a you know, day off in the fields and find work elsewhere for a while to get, to get some rain. <laughs> in Dundas, David Schumann, WCCO News. The Department of Agriculture says this rain has given some relief to cattle farm pastures that need it. Some good news is that the sugar beet yield looks to be above average.